morning. I fielded my favorite student question ever while I was co-teaching a language arts class at a middle school in New York. I had asked two students to demonstrate clumsy as a way of moving. They did a fantastic job. And I said to them, you two, that would make a fantastic beginning for a dance. Another student looked at me in amazement and said, you mean you can make a dance from that? I loved that question, because it showed me that a door of possibility was opening for them. And this morning, I invite you to step through that doorway of possibility with me as we explore dancing with the creative process. All dance comes from the movement of life itself. Nature is just one example. I could use this image to explore dance making by working with the shapes of the clouds or the energy of the rippling water or those beautiful spatial direct sun rays emanating from behind the clouds. In this presentation, I incorporated the spoken word, visual art, and dance, all stemming from my curiosity about the curves and sweeping smoothness and beautiful radiant optimism coming from the center of a simple plumeria blossom. But what kind of dance am I talking about, and why is it important for you? I'm talking about creative dance, not teaching a specific set technique. Creative dance involves self-guided movement exploration based on the fundamental elements of movement that apply to all styles of dance. Time, space, effort, shape. Creative dance involves a lot of improvisation. These high school students are doing an excellent job with an improvisation based on a simple structure that I taught them in roughly one minute. Despite all the beautiful lines you see, the curve, the flow from a low point to a high point, they didn't plan any of that in advance. They simply became fully engaged with the elements of dance, and they paid attention to each other in their movement. What about teachers? These are arts educators with little or no dance background who spent a few minutes exploring the elements of dance and then had roughly 10 minutes following a simple sequential structure to create and perform the beautiful dance that you see represented here. One of my most successful collaborations was with a PE teacher in the Shetland Islands off the north coast of Scotland. She also had no dance experience, but she was open to new experiences. She was willing to take risks and be flexible. I created a science-based dance unit focusing on Shetland weather, and she taught the whole thing herself over the course of a month in at least four different schools, six different classes, grades ranging from age, roughly pre-K to grade eight, and she reported back to me that the students asked to do the unit again next year, that they were fully engaged in the culminating performances, and that one student even reached out to another to give encouragement and said, just follow me and imagine that you're the rain. So in conclusion, creative dance offers a powerful framework to develop the skills called for in the 21st century. And the elements of dance, time, space, effort, shape, are so simple that they can be easily explored, manipulated, and sequenced and structured. And yes, they can be easily assessed as well. So if you're curious and you'd like to learn more, I invite you to join us this afternoon in a workshop. Imagine that you are the rain, and we'll see what we can discover together.